Let us pray. Eternal Father, your Son, Jesus Christ, ascended to the throne of heaven, that he might rule over all things as Lord and King, keep the Church in the unity of the Spirit and in the bond of peace, and bring the whole created order to worship at his feet, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord, I myself will search for my sheep and will seek them out. As shepherds seek out their flocks when they are among their scattered sheep, so I will seek out my sheep. I will rescue them from all the places to which they have been scattered on a day of cloud and thick darkness. I will bring them out from the peoples and gather them from countries and bring them into their own land. And I will feed them on the mountains of Israel, by the watercourses, and in all the inhabited parts of the land. I will feed them with good pasture, and the mountain heights of Israel shall be their pasture. There they shall lie down in good grazing land, and they shall feed on rich pasture on the mountains of Israel. I myself will be the shepherd of my sheep, and I will make them lie down, says the Lord God. I will seek the lost, and I will bring back the strayed, and I will bind up the injured, and I will strengthen the weak. But the fat and the strong I will destroy. I will feed them with justice. Therefore, Thus says the Lord God to them, I myself will judge between the fat sheep and the lean sheep. Because you pushed with flank and shoulder and butted at all the weak animals with your horns until you scattered them far and wide, I will save my flock and they shall no longer be ravaged. And I will judge between sheep and sheep. I will set up over them one shepherd, my servant David, and he shall feed them. He shall feed them and be their shepherd. And I, the Lord, will be their God, and my servant David shall be prince among them. I, the Lord, have spoken. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Psalm 95 The response is, the Lord is great God, and a great King above all gods. Come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving, and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. The Lord is a great God, and a great king above all gods. In his hands are the depths of the earth, and the heights of the hills are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have moulded the dry land. The Lord is a great God, and a great king above all gods. Come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker, for he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. The Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. reading from the letter of Paul to the Ephesians. I have heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love towards all the saints, and for this reason I do not cease to give thanks for you as I remember you in my prayers. I pray that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, 
may give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation as you come to know him, so that with the eyes of your heart enlightened, you may know what is the hope to which he has called you, what are the riches of his glorious inheritance among the saints, and what is the immeasurable greatness of his power for us who believe, according to the working of his great power. God put this power to work in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly places, far above all rule and authority and power and dominion, and above every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the age to come. And he has put all things under his feet and has made him the head over all things for the church, which is his body, the fullness of him who fills all in all. Thanks be to God. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Matthew, chapter 25. Jesus said to his disciples, When the Son of Man comes in glory, and all the angels with him, then he will sit on the throne of his glory. All the nations will be gathered before him, and he will separate people one from another, as a shepherd separates the sheep from the goats. And he will put the sheep at his right hand, and the goats at the left. Then the king will say to those at his right hand, Come, you that are blessed by my Father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you from the foundation of the world. For I was hungry, and you gave me food. I was thirsty, and you gave me something to drink. I was a stranger, and you welcomed me. I was naked, and you gave me clothing. I was sick, and you took care of me. I was in prison, and you visited me. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when was it that we saw you hungry and gave you food, or thirsty and gave you something to drink? And when was it that we saw you, a stranger, and welcomed you, or naked and gave you clothing? And when was it that we saw you sick or in prison and visited you? The king will answer them. Truly, I tell you, just as you did it to one of the least of these who are members of my family, you did it for me. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. Jesus said in our reading, our parable this morning, that at the end of time the king will separate the sheep from the goats, the sheep will be welcomed into glory everlasting, a place of peace and rest and light. Come to me, you who are sheep, you who have in your lifetimes been good-hearted, kind to the stranger, compassionate when you gave so much as a cup of water for a little one who was in need, you actually did it for me. Come, welcome, take your rest. It's a nice passage, but it might leave us with a touch of anxiety. Am I good enough? Do I come up to the mark? Do I count as the sheep of his pasture and of his flock? We have gone through our lives in our, in our education, often being told, must do better. Not bad, but not good enough. 
But the wonderful thing is that our king who sits in judgment is not one who sits back and tuts and waits for us to fall and gives us black marks and punishes willy-nilly. The king is also a shepherd with a heart of compassion, a shepherd who is proactive and will go out and seek us and find us and do everything within his power to bring us home. What does that mean, everything within his power? It means power, love, grace, heavenly understanding, way, way, way infinitely beyond our comprehension. Love and grace that is bigger and greater and more encompassing than we are able to imagine. The king who is a proactive shepherd, who will seek us and find us. In the Old Testament reading this morning, a rather obscure reading from the prophet Ezekiel, chapter 34, there is a beautiful poetic passage describing this shepherd, very reminiscent of Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd. It's an obscure reading, but a beautiful one. When I came across it a few years ago, I marked it out as a reading suitable to be used on occasions in a funeral service, and I have done that now and again over the years, bringing someone home who perhaps in their life, as we all do to some degree, felt a little lost. Here are some of those beautiful lines from Ezekiel. This is our king speaking, the king who is the loving, compassionate, proactive shepherd. I will bring them into their own land and I will feed them on the mountains by the watercourses. I will feed them with good pasture and the mountain heights shall be their pasture. There they shall lie down in good grazing land. They shall feed on rich pasture in the mountains. I myself will be the shepherd of my sheep and I will make them lie down, says the Lord. I will seek the lost. I will bring back the starved. I will bind up injured and I will strengthen the weak. Welcome, come, you who are my children, you are the sheep of my flock in a good place forever. I will seek out my sheep from the mountains. I will rescue the lost from their darkness. I will seek out my sheep from the mountains. I will rescue the lost from their darkness. They will return where it is calm. In a good place they will reside From desperate lands they shall come To reside in their home My shepherd arms 
will embrace, my strength will guide you along. My shattered arms will embrace, my strength will guide you along. They will return where it is gone. In a good place they will reside From desperate lands they shall come To reside in their home I will bind up the wounded, I will heal the hurt, I will restore all that is good. I will bind up the wounded, I will heal the hurt, I will restore all that is good. They will return where it is gone, in a good place they will reside. From desperate lands they shall come to reside in their home.